guys, we're here with Di, who's the Executive Director of the SSAA here in New South Wales. Di, thanks very much for your time and speaking to us again. My pleasure. It only seems like yesterday we were here, but two years ago uh, it was, I think, um, when we did the Sydney show last time. So all we want to do is, most viewers at home, I mean, a lot of them are members of the SSAA, mm -hmm. but what we want to do is just get a rundown of uh, how membership's going, what's new with the SSAA, particularly here in New South Wales. Sure. Well, membership, we've reached our a target of 50,000 uh, about September last year, so our yep. membership's growing, um, and that's happening around around Australia, which is really fantastic. Yep. It's a bit reflective of the popularity of the sport. Yeah. Um, we've, we've been doing a lot of promotion, as have the other states on um, the sport. We like to say it's um, a safe, fun and unique sport, yep. and we really promote that. We've been doing a lot of work on increasing or improving our public perception, yep. um, which is fantastic. Within SSAA New South Wales ourselves, we've spent a bit of time in the last six months or so trying to find out what it is that our members want from us yeah. and what they want us to do. Yep. Um, we've had um, membership surveys, focus groups, etc. And a few um, important things have come out of that. Yep. We kind of focused on four main areas. We've got our membership, of course, our rangers, hunting, and being that public voice. Yep. Um, representing the shooters within yep. the state. And in the current climate, what do you find is the most important thing that members are asking for from the SSAA? What do you say there's a, uh, you know, you put it out there to find out what's important to members? Yep. What do you find is the most uh, pressing issue? Okay, apart from the general, you know, we want access to ranges, we want more hunting opportunities. Yep. Something that's really coming across quite strong is they want us to be that strong voice out yep. there. They want um, a more public, more public awareness of our sport. Yep. They want more exposure in the media yeah. and they're a bit sick and tired of, of being lumped in with the criminals so what yeah. we've been doing yeah. the last couple of years is really trying to drive a wedge between that perception of the law-abiding um, firearms owner yeah. and the criminals and that we like yeah. anyone else in the community don't like illegal guns yeah. um, we most recently we've got operation unification yeah. and we we were behind that and we managed to get um, a bit of exposure on one of the, the local uh, television channels. Yep. Um, we're working with the politicians and the media to try and put forward that that view that we're the law-abiding firearms yeah. owners and then you've got the criminals. Yeah, and it's really presenting just that just that positive image of things, isn't Definitely. it? Um, yeah. and, and that was one of the reasons why I started the YouTube mm -hmm. channel because I was just sick of being tagged like most shooters here in this country as uh, someone who either is a lunatic, some sort of crazy redneck, and, mm -hmm. and you know, and the list goes on of mm -hmm. negative images. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it's really not like that at all, I mean, you can go out to a double S double A range and you can be shooting beside a doctor, mm -hmm. accountants, solicitors, mm -hmm. you know, uh, emergency services personnel, mm -hmm. things like that. And mm -hmm. People don't realise just the general public. I, I, I think so. Anyhow, that's my personal experience mm. with it. So the other thing we're really trying to promote is, I guess, the uniqueness of our sport. We yep. have, um, we're, have we, but we're a very welcoming sport. You can go out to a range and you can see a junior shooting next to her grandfather, yep. next to somebody that that has a disability. But yep, they're all exactly. they're all competing on the same level yep. playing field yep. in the same competition, and we re really try and promote that. Yep. We're doing a lot of work with juniors, trying to get more juniors into the sport. I mean, it's an Olympic sport. We need to get our talent from somewhere yeah, yep. and we need to get that message out there that it is an Olympic sport yeah. and the kids have to start at some stage That's so right. that they can end up representing us at any, yeah. any of the different elite levels. Exactly. And in mm. saying that, we all know now, especially our younger generation, how computer literate they are. Mm. Um, yeah. Has the SSAA looked at taking advantage of the digital age? Mm. Oh, most definitely. With New South Wales, um, the last couple of years we've got a new revamped, refreshed website. Yep. We've got a lot of different portals to access information information for the different groups that we're involved in. We've yep. got Facebook, we've got Twitter, um, and we use all of those means to, to communicate with our members yeah. and, and get feedback and communication back from, from our membership. Yeah, excellent. Well, that's so mm. important. I mean, we know, obviously, because we're only on you know YouTube mm. and Facebook, mm. the electronic age, and it's amazing how quick it can take off mm -hmm. and how much people rely on it. Oh, yeah. So, um, And I, I hear now, um, I know you guys are specifically New South Wales, but I believe at a national level, they're even uh, currently available for memberships online? Oh yes, you can join and you can renew online, which is yep. fantastic. 
fantastic. I know they were working on it for quite a while. Yep. Um, and it's amazing the take up. It's really yeah. been um, quite popular. And we at New South Wales have got a link on our website. Yep. So anyone that comes to visit us can get taken straight to the membership portal. Excellent. Fantastic. Mm. All right. Well, look, we won't take up much more of your time. Thanks for chatting to us again. Nice. And uh, to for see you. you again. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So you guys at home, obviously the SSAA, if you want more information, you can go to their website. We'll put the links under this review so you can check them out in your own time.